What's up everyone? Welcome to question 4, November 2022, grade 11, Mets paper 1. I am Gaston Mapala right here at Mets with Gaston. Now let's have a look at what is given here. It is a, a number pattern. Uh, it's a quadratic pattern which is divided into 4.1 and also 4.4, 4. right? So now let's start right here at 4.1. What is given there? We are given this is a quadratic function. When they say quadratic function, the first thing that comes to our mind is to say that you have, you've got terms here, which is T1, which is T2, and then which is T3, and also maybe T4 rather, which you have got, you're going to look for, a T1 minus a T3, T3 minus T2, and also T2 minus T1. And then, therefore, what you have, if you've got it, you're going to have numbers here. And then those numbers, you minus them to get the common difference. Okay, to get the common difference. All right. And that's how you would deal with this one. That's exactly the first thing that comes into our mind. And therefore, let's move on here and come to 4.1. It says here, calculate... Uh, the value of x all right so now uh, this is what we're gonna do right here we're gonna put the pattern in here 4 9 x and therefore 37 what we will have got this uh, terms here so what did i say we said we we're gonna minus this one here uh, 9 times 4 is going to give us 5 and then x times 9 is gonna re remain the same it's just gonna be x minus 9 not times rather but minus and therefore 37 minus is going to be 37 minus x okay and then we move on to the common difference because that's what we're looking for is going to be x minus 9 a 2 minus 5 and therefore finally you are going to have that expression there, which is 37 minus x minus x minus 9. Okay, having that in mind, we know that here we have got d, which is our common difference. Okay, we have got d, which is our common difference. So therefore, it means this, this d, this difference here is equals to this one here. So we can equate the two last uh, expressions to make sure that we get our x. Okay, so let's uh, do that. Okay, we've got uh, x minus 9 minus 5 is going to give us minus 14 is equals to uh, 37 minus x. Then when you multiply with the minus, you're going to have minus x plus 9, which will give us, in this case, let's see here which in this case is going to give us minus 2 x and then uh, also 40 46 rather yeah plus 46 okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take the x put them both in one side so it's going to be x i take negative 2 x to that side is going to be positive 2 x therefore this side you're going to have 46 46 plus 14 okay so you're gonna have 3x here this is just algebra guys and then uh, 46 plus 14 is going to give us 60 divide everything by 3 therefore our x value should be equal to 20 okay and that's how you deal with a equation like this one our x value is going to be 20 all right great stuff so now 4.2 4.2 says here if x is equal to 20 cal calculate between which two terms of the quadratic pattern will the first will the first difference be equals to all right which will the first difference so this is tn so they are looking for which term where the first difference will be 599 okay so basically if it's a quadratic question what you do you take this let's go ahead and substitute 20 back here gonna have 4 9 20 37 therefore we need to get the difference here 
what you have to do here you need to look for the number pattern that is there on the first difference okay so 9 minus 4 is 5 and then 20 minus 9 20 minus 9 is going to give us 11 37 minus 20 17 therefore you take this once here and then the common difference is going to be 6 and then it's going to be 6 so therefore you take it from here guys from here then you look for the general equation for this for this one so we know that if you are given from here if you if you take it from here going down therefore this becomes a linear pattern and the linear pattern the general formula is given by a plus plus n minus 1 d where a is equal to that one is equal to 5 and then d is equal to 6 which is our common difference therefore you have gonna come here and say 5 plus n minus 1 d which is 6 therefore you remove the bracket with the d plus 6 n plus 6 n minus 6 therefore our equation is going to be given by 6 n minus 1 okay great stuff there you go so once we have that so we just have to equate our equation our this first difference because the equation did say the first difference okay because that's why we are using this difference here first difference from the original quadratic the first difference is this one so that's why we are using that to find the formula and therefore we are going to say therefore if tn is equal to 449 so if tn is not 4459 rather if is equals to 599 therefore what is our n value we're going to solve for n here we take one this side is going to give us 600 is equals to 6n therefore divided by 6 everything n is equals to 100 all right so therefore it says they're asking for two terms so it's going to be n 100 and 101 okay so therefore those are the two terms where the the difference between two them is between those two terms will give us four nine nine right and that's how you would have dealt with a question like this one and uh, let's move on to four point let's now move on to 4.3 all right 4.3 says uh, an expression for n term in the pattern can be written in terms of tn a, a n squared plus b n plus c all right 4.3 says state whether the turning point of tn is local minimum or maximum state your reasoning right okay so what you can do here you are gonna come here and say okay 4.3.1 all right you still remember the pattern here it was 4 9 20 and then the 37 therefore we did also calculate the difference here which gave us 5 11 i think it was 17 if i can remember very well then our common difference was 6 in this case it was 6 as well okay so now what you need to do you need just the only thing that you need to do for local minimum or maximum the same thing you would do on a parabola function you just have to prove that is this a positive or negative this a value here is it positive or negative okay so that's the only thing you need to do so therefore we know that with the quadratic equation to find a we know that 2a is equals to the common difference that's how you would find the value of a so now with that even that in mind x so what is the value of a here divided by two both sides a is going to be equals to three so because a is positive okay so therefore you are going to say a is positive remember they said you must give a reason so this will be our reason guys a is positive therefore you can say therefore uh, our function which is the graph here tn 
as a local minimum okay so what does this mean this means that if it was positive if it was positive if you if it was negative rather you are going to have a local maximum all right and that's how you would have dealt uh, with this one all right okay so now let's move on to question 4.4.3.2 4.3.2 it says that uh, if tn if tn is given by tn is equals to 3n squared minus 4n plus 5 determine the range okay remember now when they say the range the range if tn is given by that they are basically asking you to find the x value of the turning point which in this case will be the n value then you substitute it back to find the tn and then you give the a range okay so remember turning point you, you get it from minus b is equals to 2a so what is uh, our b there is minus 4 all in brackets minus because i'm substituting there on this equation 2a is equals to 3 therefore this is going to give us a uh, 4 over 6 which in return is going to give us a uh, 2 over 3 all right so you are going to substitute this 2 over 3 therefore you need to say therefore you need to sub x into the tn equation this x is also is referring to also n okay it's also equals to n so therefore what does that mean that means that on our equation here we are going to come and say uh, n is, is is 2 over 3 which is equals to 3 2 over 3 close minus 4 2 over 3 plus 5 is equals to once you put this in our calculator we are going to find that uh, our answer is 11.3 all right please ladies and gentlemen if you have not subscribed on this channel please make sure that you subscribe i am gustin mapala subscribing on this channel would really really help me to help as many learners as possible and make sure that you share this video with your friends your families your cousin make sure that this information gets to everyone and to those that need it uh, so that we can make sure that this videos and they are distributed all over to those that are struggling with mathematics on those that want to improve our marks and also get distinctions as well so therefore on this question you are going to come back and say okay therefore our range our range values will just range from y is greater or equals to 11.3 okay now simple as that that's how you will deal with a question like this one please don't forget Guys, please make sure that you take note of what is happening here and so that when going forward, you don't have to struggle as well, right? Let's move on to question 4.4. All right, welcome to question 4.4. It said if it is given that the above pattern, okay, uh, the, the equation of the first difference is given by that and that of the quadratic equation is given by that, Therefore, they are saying to us, determine if there is a possible common value. Common value. Common value, you will only get it when the two, the two patterns are equal. Okay? I think that's fair. Right? And then uh, possible four values and support your answer with an appropriate calculation. All right. So, if they are saying possible common value, so it means these things must be equal at some point. So, I'm going to say T N. Of that of the first percentage should be equal to tn of the quadratic uh, function okay so we are gonna come here and say tn okay that one of the quadratic uh, which is 3 n squared minus 4 n plus 5 is equals to 6 n minus 1 all right so now let's solve for solve for n here n squared minus 4n minus 6n plus 5 plus 1 is equals to 0 is going to be 3n squared minus 10n plus 6 
is equal to zero all right guys so if you ever look at this question we need to factorize so that we can find n but looking at it the way it is now <laughs> there's no way this thing can be factorized so therefore we are gonna come here and say we need to use the quadratic equation to solve for this one minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a so therefore we are going to come and say minus b is going to be minus 10 uh, okay no minus 10 in bracket then there's a minus there therefore here we're going to have a plus or minus plus or minus uh, square root of b which is going to be negative 10 squared minus 4 a is how much a is 3 and therefore c is equals to 6 all over 2a which is just 3 and then uh, therefore n is going to be equal to let me see when i put this in my calculator what are we getting please make sure that guys if you get a different answer leave a comment on the comment section below we'll do our corrections together and definitely check if uh, what we're doing here is correct it is possible to make mistakes but remember this video are for practice purposes only so therefore we shouldn't put pressure on ourselves so divided by two or no, divided by three rather it's going to be divided by three okay great stuff divided by three so therefore if you put plus or minus therefore you should be able to get what is the value of a all right and that's how you deal with questions like this one uh, guys i am gustin mapala right here at mess with gustin please make sure that you subscribe and stay tuned on this channel i am gonna compile these videos and put them together in a form of a playlist so that it's much easier for somebody to watch them and it's much easier for you to look for videos that are concerning question four and then i will also separate them according to the paper and say okay no the november paper of 2022 paper one here are all the videos together here and those that want to follow in terms of, of according to the questions let's say only uh, question four is only from 2022 or from 2023 up until 2020 the videos are here please make sure guys you subscribe and to share these videos with many people as you can i'll see you on the next day upload i am gustin mapala see you then